When you make your next earbud purchase, it's tempting to go chasing after the best on the market. But we've always been of the opinion that numbers aren't everything. So should you trip over yourself to get the current champion of true wireless earbuds, the Sony WF-1000 XM5? Or should you get something that fits your life a little bit easier with the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2? Ring the bell, because these earbuds are going head to head. Both Sony and Google took divergent philosophies when designing their earbuds. While the WF-1000 XM5 is glossy and are a bit bulky, the Pixel Buds Pro 2 are tiny and matte. The WF-1000 XM5 don't have a stabilizer fit or alternate means of holding in the earbuds in place, while the Pixel Buds Pro 2 do. Where one is built for raw performance, the other makes a few concessions to be a little bit easier to use and forget about when they're being worn. Like I said, different strategies. Neither is wrong, but it also means that you've got some choices to make. For some, this choice is simple. The larger ears you have, the more likely you'll want the Sony WF-1000 XM5s over the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2. And the smaller your ears are, the better the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2 will fit your life. Personally, I like both, but I'm also not a particularly large or small fella. Both earbuds support their manufacturer's chosen flavor of spatial audio with head tracking. Both earbuds offer wired or wireless charging, and both earbuds have some of the better pass-through modes that we've seen in our labs that as you will. However, the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2 don't require an app and can be adjusted right from your phone settings. No downloads required. To gain many of the smarter features for the Sony earbuds, you'll need to download the Sound Connect app by Sony, which might be an extra layer of frustration for some. However, touch controls are very simple and straightforward on each, which means that the rough edges for both of the designs are mainly limited to your ears. Who wins? Well, this one's a draw. Now, when it comes to sound quality, there isn't much of a contest here. The Sony WF-1000 XM5 posts higher scores almost across the board than the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2. But pump the brakes, son, there's more to it than just that. The Sony earbuds offer higher bitrate codec support in LDAC, but unless you're listening to lossless or near lossless files, you're not likely to be getting the most out of that. Instead, the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2 support for AAC and Opus codecs should be more than enough. Because you can equalize both of these earbuds, Earbuds. We're not going to really trash either one, but it bears mentioning that Google's earbuds have something that the Sony Buds don't. AuraCast. As time goes on, this Bluetooth feature will become more important as more people use it to broadcast announcements, share music, and more. What's interesting is that while the Sony WF-1000 XM5 fares better in the multi-dimensional audio quality scores than the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2, the Google earbuds do a pretty good job of adhering to a sound that we prefer here at SoundGuys. In comparison to our now independently validated preference curve, God, I love saying that. There is a little extra energy in the highs that you may or may not want to tone down a little. The Sony earbuds, on the other hand, have a pretty consistent overemphasis on bass and low mids up to about 400 hertz. You can equalize that to taste, but for some people that might not sound the best out of the box. If you find yourself in that situation, definitely install the Sound Connect app or a third-party equalization tool to help. We like Wavelet for this, but look around. Short answer is the winner, Sony. Despite the fact that the Sony WF-1000 XM5 averages about 5% more noise attenuation than the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2, that's not really a level that will be immediately obvious to you in your daily life. In truth, the main differences here are in the highs, where the Sony WF-1000 XM5 really runs up the score. But, like my childhood hero LeVar Burton would often say, you don't have to take my word for it. You can use these level matched samples collected in our labs. Just remember that these are not going to give you a perfect idea of how the noise cancellation works because the headphones and speakers that you use are going to alter the signal. These clips and any others that purport to show ANC performance should only ever be used for comparison's sake and not a one-to-one -one recreation of reality.
So, who's the winner here? Sony, more or less, but it's much less definitive than the numbers show. Battery life. For commuters and casual listeners, this comparison won't make much of a difference, but frequent flyers would probably be interested to note that with ANC on, the Sony WF-1000XM5 can last 9 hours and 24 minutes, while the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2 manages only 7 hours and 55 minutes with our standardized battery gantlet. Even with the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2, this is enough to last both commutes and most of your workday, so assuming you're going to charge these at any point in the day, both should be fine. Still, the winner is Sony. When it comes to meetings, calls, and other voice chat clients, the microphone is pretty damned important. So which earbuds reign supreme? With 420 respondents at the time of shooting, <laughs> a whopping 66% prefer the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2 over the Sony WF-1000XM5. It's a surprising result, but hey, who am I to argue with that many people? If you'd like to hear our standardized recordings for yourself, definitely click over to the Versus article on our site or to the individual reviews. Winner, Google. As the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2 debuted at $229 and the Sony WF-1000XM5 hit shelves for $299, this one's a pretty straightforward comparison. However, as the Sony earbuds are more than a year old at this point, you might be able to find them at a steep discount during holiday sales. Still, you shouldn't have any difficulty finding either product online, so this one's another notch in the Pixel Buds Pro 2's column. Winner, Google. So, who's been keeping score? With so many items that might be deal breakers to some, the answer isn't as clear as some of you might have hoped it'd be. You're gonna have to decide that for yourself. However, it's clear that as both products are each manufacturer's best efforts at true wireless earbuds, either choice should be an excellent pick for the right people. Now, we had to gloss over a fair bit, so if you want to check out more about the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2, click up over here. Go, click, go there. Ha 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 ha! Nice. <laughs>